these parts seem to be very well made. And normally I don't uh, follow the instructions for a pen that would be this simple. Just one, one, one uh, uh, blank would be involved. However, I've never done one of these before. Look at that, there's a little, a little O-ring there to help seal it. This is a really nice, good quality kit. Now, I'm assuming that the salt shaker, you know, the, with the white instead of the black, um, is probably identical. I'll just leave it in this package until I need it. But anyway, the idea is, this would be the brass tube, only I don't think it's brass. Well, it could be plated brass, I don't know. Anyway, the idea is that uh, this is going to be covered with wood. And these are the bushings, my goodness. They're actually quite heavy. They look like something I would have turned myself on the metal lathe if I had to make my own. And it uh, comes with a little insert that I guess eventually will go inside. And then the salt or pepper would uh, not be against the bare metal. At least I'm assuming that's the idea. Let's see what, what happens here. Yeah, I guess we'd go like that. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Uh, yeah, but uh, right now i got to find the wood that I'm going to use. I was thinking possibly uh, if it was matching and yet different so that the salt shaker would end up looking a little bit brighter or lighter rather than the pepper shaker. At least that's the plan. So I'm going to try and find some kind of wood. Anyway, let's go look in the scrap wood box and see what we can find. Now something like this monkey wood, that would be okay for the, for the dark wood. And all I need is two inches wide. And I'm thinking for the light, well maybe this this oak could be okay, but I think what would be even better would be this uh, maple, which is already two inches wide. And here's, here's some more maple down here. It's actually quite white, except that it's crooked and it's not thick enough. <laughs> this is something that I actually milled from a branch that broke off my neighbor's Manitoba maple tree about five years ago. Well, there's lots of scraps anyway. I've got more monkey wood in another box in the other room. And actually, uh, there's probably two or three times as much scrap wood as you're seeing here in that box. And there is more of this. So I think I'm going to use the maple and the monkey wood. Combination of the two. And according to the plans, I need uh, four pieces or four blanks that are two inches square by two and a half inches long. And then you just turn them down. As we are going to see as we mosey along here. Um, won't be today though, but eventually we're going to be doing it. And my doorbell just rang. Well, that was interesting. I haven't had that happen for a while. My neighbor couldn't get the key to work in her lock. She's standing out there in the snow. <laughs> yeah, and being the workshop type guy that I am, no problem. Anyway, yeah, well, let's see if we can get some of this glued up. Now speaking of problems, my table saw is kind of buried with my big clock project, so that means that I've got to use my bandsaw to cut this. And using a bandsaw to cut stuff like that is, uh, you know, for cross-cutting, I much prefer... Wait a minute. How about my power miter? <laughs> I really did just think of it now. Okay. I notice I'm starting to make silly mistakes. Like I forgot I had this. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to close part two off here and maybe we'll do a, a part three tomorrow. I was gone all morning. It's getting late in the afternoon and I want to get this video uploaded as short as it is. Thanks for watching. 
We'll see you tomorrow.